Hello, I'm your kingdom, spiritual transformational, and life purpose, life coach, and mentor, Latricia Booker, here with Kingdom Business, where we are empowered, where we heal, we get delivered, and we get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits and raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose and power, and that is the truth of who God has created us to be. Kingdom people. We are, we are, we are. We are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. We are curse breakers. And we most definitely are transformers. More than meets the eye. Yeah, kingdom people. We are, we are, we are. Kingdom people. Thank you all so very much for viewing my videos. Thank you for the likes, subscribe, shares all of the financial contributions to my channel for all the seeds you sowing to me in my ministry for all your comments and feedback by email and on my community board kingdom people thank you for everything you do here on this channel on kingdom business it is very much appreciated thank you and so kingdom people you already know what i'm here to do and if you don't know now you know i am here to Drop this beat, this word, this message. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm, yeah. Kingdom people, I am the chain breaker. Kingdom people, you all are chain breakers too. Are you ready to break some chains? Let's go. So listen, they have been stripped of their divinity. Yes, kingdom people. God is saying they have been stripped of their divinity. Now, before I go on, I want to say, because they have been stripped of their divinity doesn't mean that they can't recover. Because as we know, with repentance comes recovery, redemption. I just wanted to put out that disclaimer before I continue. So what's happening here, kingdom people, is that those ones, you know, them ones, those ones that insist on being your enemies or were insisting on being your enemies. That's what I'm hearing, were. Because some of these people are not necessarily trying to be your enemy at this point because they have failed at that. The issue is the enemy is still within them. What do I mean by that? Those, dem those demons are still running havoc in them. Even if they're not pursuing you at this point. Even if they're not trying to stand in the way of what God is doing in your life. Or cause you any problems or, you know, those things that we know that they do. They are being stripped of their divinity, kingdom people. And it has everything to do with them living out of their sinful nature it has everything to do with how they're they have tried and attempted to i heard persecute you they've tried to destroy you they've tried to cause you harm they went against you they did a whole lot those ones came to people they are getting they are reaping what they have sown they are being stripped of their divinity and the thing is, we all were created in God's image. So we all have had some image or some, some portion <laughs> of God in us. That's just how he created us. So in other words, we all are divine beings. However, depending on whether you're operating in the flesh or in the spirit and how you're maturing and growing and evolving throughout your journey determines where you're at in that divinity, where you're at in looking like God because he is in us. Of course, we know kingdom people that because of this falling world, because of our sinful nature, that we had to be redeemed through Christ Jesus. So even though we were initially created in the likeness and image of God, we fail as a collective humanity. And so for those of us who are in the kingdom, we are kingdom people, we have been redeemed through Christ Jesus. So our divinity has been returned to us. 
Now, these ones who, again, operate from their sinful nature, and I'm hearing um, so in the flesh, so they're reaping corruption. That's something that just keeps coming up. Um, they're being stripped of their divinity. They haven't been operating in the ways of God. They're being con complete, continuously living from their sinful nature, continuously, even when God has warned them and told them to stop. Again, maybe for some of them, for some of you, they may be chill right now, but it's not because they stopped on their own and realized, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. It's because they are, being, they are being stripped of their divinity. Things are happening to where, I'm going to say it like this, they don't even have the desire at this point to continue to pursue you in that manner. Why kingdom people? They have been stripped of their divinity. Any little part of it that they had left was their opportunity to recover, to repent, to turn from their wicked ways. But because they didn't do that when the opportunity was given to them, they are now being stripped of their divinity. Again, it doesn't mean that they can't recover and be redeemed with repentance. But right now, for these ones that I'm specifically speaking of, God is saying they are being stripped of their divinity. Now, here's the key, kingdom people. In order to continue to walk in that divinity, in order to continue to walk in the image and likeness of God as you were created, in order to continue to be renewed and, and to look like Christ and to be all that he created you to be, once you have been redeemed through Christ Jesus, this is the key to walking in your divinity. The key is to stay connected to God. Now, God is saying that these ones are being stripped of their divinity. This is it, kingdom people. We are continuing to walk in our divinity. And here's why. We're going to walk some scriptures, kingdom people. This is why we continue to walk in our divinity. Well, unfortunately, they are being stripped of their divinity. Again, they can recover and be redeemed with repentance. John 15, 4 through 8 says, Remain in me and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from the vine. And you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I am them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it shall be granted. Kingdom people, we continue to walk in our divinity because we remain in, we remain in God. We continue to be connected to him. As he say, he's the, he's the vine, we are the branches. What has happened here, kingdom people, is these people are not in him. They're not connected to him. They're not walking in him. So they're not producing the fruits of him. They're not in the likeness and image of God because that's not how they operate. They're not operating in those fruit. They're not receiving those fruits because they're not connected to the vine, which is Jesus Christ. We'll go with God. Because even if you're connected to God, and I say that to make that distinction because some people are not necessarily in Christ, but they're still connected to God. But with Jesus Christ, that we receive so much more of our inheritance because we have connected to the vine. And in this, speaking of this, it speaks of Jesus. Anyhow, it says, 
in verse 6, anyone who that does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Kingdom people, these ones have been stripped of their divinity because they didn't remain in him. They didn't remain in Jesus. They didn't remain in God. Either way, if you don't remain in him, you're going to be thrown away like a useless branch and wither. That's what it says. Now, again, kingdom people, when they continuously continue, I, I just heard to try to provoke you. That's what I just heard. <laughs> Among other things, they're not remaining in God if they have ever been in him. But again, at some point, he was there. Now, as many of us know, over the years, over your lifetime, things happen in life that causes us some issues. But as an adult, it is up to us to recover, to replenish ourselves, to heal, so that those things won't have an adverse effect on us in our lives. We all have gone through something. We have all had some adverse effects imputed on us, <laughs> so to speak. No, no blame to nobody. We live in a fallen world. The thing is, kingdom people, these ones did not choose to recover. They chose to try to cause harm to others, including you, kingdom people. And so this is why they are being stripped of their divinity. They did, They are not connected to God. They are not connected to Christ. And or they did not remain connected. But it says, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. Now, I'm going to say this to that. This is what I'm getting here. Some of these ones, kingdom of people, feel like you get what you want. But according to scripture, it says because you remain in him, you can ask him for what you want and it will be given to you. So they feel that those ones that do, that you get what you want. I'm hearing you spoiled. Some people think you spoiled. You just... Yeah, but you're remaining in, in him. So you can ask for what you want and it will be granted. They don't remain in him. They're not connected to the vine. So they can't ask God for what they want. They can't ask Jesus for what they want and it be granted to them. They go, they, I'm here and they get it from the world. A lot of these people think that their source is people. I'm not saying people don't play a part. But when you're dependent on people to give you what you need, that's not being connected to the vine. That's not being connected to God. That's not receiving what you need from God. That's you being codependent on people to give you what you need. These kind of people are not connected to God. They're not pursuing God. They're not going to God like that. They're disconnected from God. And that is why they're being stripped of their divinity. Because they're not connected. And then they attempt to pursue. And and um, I keep hearing provoke. I literally keep hearing provoke. God's people. That's an indication of not being connected to God. All by yourself. So came the people. They have been stripped of their divinity. Okay? Okay. So, kingdom people, I am going to let that rest right there. If you like my video, this video, and or if it resonates with you, just please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, click on that red subscribe button if you have not already done so and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Then click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. Something like this from Kingdom People. If you are interested in any of the services that I presently offer, you can find all that information right down below in the description box. If you would like to support my channel, so a seed into me and its ministry, you can cash at me at cash.me slash dollar sign L Booker in the number one. Or you could PayPal me at paypal.me slash Latricia Booker. All that information is right down below in the description box as well. Kingdom people, 
We are, we are, we are. We are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. We are curse breakers. And we most definitely are transformers. More than meets the eye. Yeah, kind of people. We are, we are, we are. Kind of people, I love you all so very much. I really do appreciate you all being here with me, spending this time. I really do appreciate it. And so, kind of people, with that being said, much love, light, and peace, and many blessings to you all. I don't want to leave right now, King of People, but I have to go right now. But I'll be back to hold you down. King of People, that is my time. Jesus, girl, she's out. Peace.